Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Swan here and I put a tweet up earlier today asking what do you want fixed slash changed in Fortnite? What do you want in season five? What map changes do you want? ETC. I put this up because I want to I want to know everyone's ideas, what they think should be added or changed from the game and kind of make a video about it. This is my personal first experience with a game that has been really consistent with updates and sort of listens to the people playing the game and takes input so i figured this would be kind of a way of putting all these or a bunch of different thoughts and ideas into a, a video and just kind of putting it out there on youtube so i'm gonna look at a bunch of your guys ideas and basically give my input see if i think it's a good idea or a bad idea or just further elaborate on it so let's see what you guys had to say so gangan616 says i want a new map but that won't happen i don't know why people are so fine with just new places being added to the same map excitement ends after a day now is the perfect time for a new map with people saying that the game is dying and epic making dumb changes i actually i i partially agree with this i think a new map would be great well i think it would be great but i don't think it's completely necessary because I know there's going to be big changes in Season 5, uh, pretty big map updates that will be a little bit more long-lasting than just the minuscule updates that they've been making, that are just like adding a little small thing here and there to bits and pieces of the map. Because I think this guy is hitting it right on the nose with excitement kind of ends right after the first day for just those small little changes. But I, I don't know, I don't see them making a whole new map at least within this season or the next season most likely but i i wouldn't put it past them that they have made an entirely new map i'm sure they have they've probably made a couple at least or at least had sketches of multiple ideas of different maps luke ria 5 says wouldn't mind for you to get good this season uh that if you don't know who that is that's spooter that's spoderman and uh he's just mad that i I've won probably 80% of the 1v1s we've done in Playground, so I think he's just a little mad. Nathan Gray 2000 says, I'd like an item added to the game that you could pick up and use. Could be a chainsaw, it could instant break trees, and give you most mats too. Now I actually, I actually really like this idea, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably on the, this is probably on the unpopular side of opinions, but I think it would be pretty interesting to be able to pick up something like a chainsaw or just, I don't, I don't know, chainsaw seems like a pretty good idea that could just mow through material and just harvest extremely fast or insta harvest like he's saying because, it, and it would take up a slot in your inventory and you just have one less spot and I think, I think it could be beneficial. It'd just be like a really rare legendary item that is really hard to find, but you could pick it up, go harvest a little bit, and then, or use it to a certain point, kind of like the jetpack, like where it runs out of fuel, and then you drop it, and someone can pick it up, and there might just be like a little bit left, so I, I think that could be a great idea for Fortnite. HDan 1233 says another thing they could add in solos is a kill cam to show how you died. I actually completely agree with this too. I think that a kill cam, like for when you die mid-game, would be beneficial, like kind of just show the last five seconds, and also a game-winning kill cam. I'm not going to say that it, I don't want it to be as soon as you kill the guy, it switches to a kill cam, like game winning kill cam, but I think they could have a little option at the bottom of the screen that says show your point of view uh, for whatever, your your kill cam point of view, and then it'll show like the last 5-10 seconds from your point of view, and then maybe uh, an option to see from their point of view of the last 5-10 to 10 seconds. It's a little bit of a stretch. I don't see them doing this at all, but I think it could be pretty cool. It, it wouldn't be a kill cam that's forced onto you, it'd be you have the option to replay it right right then and there, but you don't have to click on it. I think that'd be pretty cool. Mon21345 says also more win rewards like V-Bucks or something. I think this might work maybe in an LTM, kind of a limited time mode. I think they should, if they're going to do this, if they ever have thought about doing this, which I'm sure they have, I'm sure they would put it in an LTM first just to test it out. Actually, I don't even think they would really put this in just the full game. They would just have this as an LTM, kind of just give you the option to win and try hard. It'd be a, an extremely sweaty game mode. Everyone would just be trying their asses off like the solo showdown. But 
it could be something that they could do. I, I would like it because there should be ways to earn V Bucks in Battle Royale rather than having to get Save the World and then you can earn you can earn V Bucks and Save the World. But I don't have that. I don't really have an interest in grinding Save the World just for V Bucks. But they sh there should be more ways to get V Bucks rather than just spending money. Like, it's virtual currency. Like come on, you don't you don't need to have the only way to get it spending money because it's not actually worth any money it's literally just fake money let us let us get the fake money in different ways i havoc says i'm fine with the update to rpgs but grenade launchers are too op i see i'm kind of on the fence on this one i well i, I do agree with the rpgs like rpgs are fine they're really easy to get away from and pretty easy to defend yourself even up close you can kind of tell when someone's going to rpg you and grenade launchers they're a bit OP at times, it just in certain, certain situations, like if you're playing a, a game of squads or duos and multiple people have grenade launchers and they're just spamming you, that's okay. But the, the rocket cap of 12 kind of helps with that rather than having the ability to have 60 rockets in a grenade launcher like you used to be able to. So it's, I think it's somewhat balanced now. If we're talking OP, I think C4s kind of, they, they just destroy literally buildings at a time from just two C4s. It's crazy. Like, the biggest buildings in Tilted can go completely down from maybe three C4s. So I'm actually not too mad about grenade launchers. Killing Rice says, completely new POI, and I'm assuming that means point of interest. Shotgun buffs and more customization for our outfits. Uh, new point, new uh, point of interest, yes, 100%. I. I, I would be totally fine with a new map, and I would be totally fine with just kind of recreating this whole new map, or this whole map that they already have. One thing that I saw on Twitter, which I'm going to try and find it and show it, I'm going to try and put it on the screen right now, I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but someone had the idea of taking out Loot Lake, putting in a bunch of kind of houses on like a river, sort of like a canal, and just having a little canal through the middle, and with a bunch of houses on the side, like a long strip and I think that would be pretty cool. It'd be kind of a unique thing, something new rather than just cities, like super normal cities. It would be, it would all add a whole new dynamic. And with this, with the space of Loot Lake, they could add stuff around it, add another big mountain, another something. I don't know, they could get creative with it. As for shotgun buffs and more customization for our outfits, I'm not too mad at the shotgun uh, nerfs recently because I've been using more silent subs, TAC SMGs, and other stuff, kind of new play styles, and it's been kind of, it's been making the game a little bit different, like rather than just double pump, double pump, double heavy, I mean I usually pick up double heavy if I have the option, but it's, it's really not that bad. At times it can be frustrating, but you kind of just gotta just live with it, because everyone's going through the same thing. And more customization for our outfits. I don't necessarily agree with this. I think they should do something like the Omega again, where it's a Battle Pass skin where you can kind of customize it, but if you allow more customization for like all skins, then people might look back on a bunch of their skins that they bought and be like, okay, why did I buy all these skins if I can now finally customize all these, or just a few skins to look what I w want them to look like and people will kind of feel that they wasted a bunch of money on the game so so yeah i'm not really agreeing too much with the last one glide yt says ranked play not ltm would be dope i don't know about this because that would change the whole dynamic of the, of the game it would basically turn the regular playlist into a casual playlist and i'm not sure people would really want that separate i think it's kind of fun having a, a diverse amount of people rather than just a bunch of casuals versus a bunch of super tryhards trying to get their rank up. I do love ranked play though, like I play Rocket League and the whole ranked play aspect is amazing, but the whole point of Rocket League is kind of just to become better and really get your rank up, but Fortnite is kind of a more casual game where you just kind of want to play and not really always go up against the best people where in Rocket League you're always going to be going up people at your rank and this similar skill level. So I'm not I'm not too much of a fan of this. JS Haley 10 or J Shaley 10 says I want the old factories back. I agree. It's Exotic says no more double anything 
and I I don't think that this should happen because people would riot. People would be pissed because this would be such a drastic change. AKA Soko says explosives removed. That's not gonna happen. Do you want snipers removed too? Kaiser says number one, new map. Number two, all TMs be available at once, similar to other FPS games. Three, ranked mode, so there are less tryhards. Yeah, we already went through that. Four, a small map very small where you can 1v1 people no building like cod and then number five consistent weapon damage all right so one new map we already went over that two all ltms be available at once i think that could be pretty cool kind of have a bunch of different playlists at least for a little bit it would be it would give a lot of diversity and people could just do a bunch of different things all at once uh the ranked mode went over that as for number four a small map where you can 1v1 with no building like in cod the whole game is built around building no pun intended, so I don't think that this is really necessary. Uh, number five, consistent weapon damage. I think you just need to hit your shots. School Trooper says maybe things called head blings. What I think they could do is kind of maybe have you level up your skins and earn the ability to kind of put, put more stuff on, like new head blings, or use head blings from other skins. Could be kind of cool. But anyways, I'm going to end it there. This is just kind of a new thing that I'm going to try out. Maybe do this a little bit more frequently if people seem to enjoy it. I just want to kind of get a bunch of ideas out there, whether I think they're good or bad, and just kind of give my input. And it kind of just compiles a bunch of different ideas that maybe some Epic Games employee could uh, stumble across and maybe get a few ideas from. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. See you guys later.